Hey everyone, I'm Kendall White, and today we're going to talk about the concept of hypo and hyperthyroidism. It's really important when you think of hypothyroidism or hippothydroid inside of pygmonic that you remember with hypothyroidism everything slows down. There's not enough T3 and T4 or thyroid hormones to keep your basal metabolic rate going. And it's really important to think of the theme of hypothyroidism as everything slowing down. Did you get that? We're trying to get a common theme here. So with that, you're going to see bradycardia or our snail heart. You also might see hypotension or of course our hippo BP as a low blood pressure. And as you're slowing down your basal metabolic rate, you have a lot of cold intolerance. Brr, cold intolerance. They paid me $3 extra to do that. As your basal metabolic rate slows, also you have what, well, that daunting side effect of weight gain. Every time I gain a couple extra pounds, I just blame it on that old hypothyroidism. It's not the fact that I'm eating all this candy. And I love candy. I do love candy. Just love it. Also in hypothyroidism, don't forget about constipation, because the bowels slow down too. That stool hardens and, well, constipation. Also in hypothyroidism, remember that it's possible to slow the mind too. So you can also be lethargic or have slowed thinking. We went over hypothyroidism, hippothydroid, slowing everything down. Let's contrast it with hyperthyroidism. Everything sped up and very, very fast. There's like a fuzz, like right here, and I just, I keep seeing it. <sighs> okay, the fuzz is gone. So as everything sped up in hyperthyroidism, it's super important to remember, as that basal metabolic rate is increased, you're going to see things like tachycardia or the tach heart card. You're also gonna see things like tremor, muscle tremors, as this excessive thyroid hormone causes an increase in basal metabolic rate, as well as hypertension, this hiker BP. Now the bowels are no stranger to hyperthyroidism and you're often going to see them sped up as well. So you'll see diarrhea with hyperthyroidism. Along with hyperthyroidism and the diarrhea, we often see patients with weight loss. You see those lose so many pounds in 30 days of your money back? Actually, it's really important to remember that a lot of those types of things are actually giving you exogenous thyroid hormones. What? Along with hyperthyroidism, we often see patients with amenorrhea or a lack of menses. Remember, that's a super high yield point in patients also that have excess weight loss. This is a really important drug that we want to tie in together. And what is that? Well, it's levothyroxine or love thyroker inside of pygmonic, synthetic T4 hormone. It's commonly given in hypothyroidism. So the side effects of giving too much thyroid hormone are essentially hyperthyroidism. Think, hmm, it all ties in together. So to recap, hypothyroidism, everything slows down. Remember, bradycardia, hypotension, constipation, cold intolerance, hyperthyroidism, hyperthyroid, everything sped up, tachycardia, hypertension, diarrhea, and heat intolerance, as well as levothyroxine or synthetic T4, remembering all the side effects of hyperthyroidism. Everything we learned today and more is available inside of the Picmonic learning system. So what are you waiting for? Go to Picmonic.com today and try it for free and find out why over 100,000 students are learning smarter, learning faster, and remembering it longer with fun pictures using Picmonic. <laughs>